Hey everybody, welcome to our June 3rd Diesel Nation team call. I'm really excited about this call. It's a little bit different than we normally have, but that's what we need sometimes to shake things up and to just be inspired. Who needs some inspiration? Raise your hand. Raise your hand because I know I do. Hey, can we have some truth bombs right now? May, cover your ears if you're under the age of 18. Sucked right like big thumbs down everybody what, what what was that oh my gosh i'm so glad that that is behind us but guess what becky and i have been in this business for a bazillion years now and may even though it's her birthday and we celebrate for 31 days straight the business is hard in the month of may it just is and and there's a lot of reasons why we run really hard january through april because of the new product launches and we had two giant product launches at the beginning of this year with transform 20 and then with the uh real-time ultimate um portion fix 21 day fix 21 day fix extreme and then all of us go like this right like we're tired we're tired and our kids are finishing school and if you had a great great may then celebrate but if you had a tough may let's celebrate too right like who cares let's keep going let's put it behind us and let's move forward and at the end of the call if you guys can stay on past when hannah uh talks and we have an exchange i want to just cover some things about goal setting uh moving into the the second half of the year which is crazy it is almost the second half of the year but before i get to hannah and have her share her story just a few team announcements number one we're getting ready for summit you guys know that we're now in the countdown we're about a month and a few days away from summit and um the link to the diesel nation luncheon has been shared in the diesel nation summit page so what i need is for everybody to register so that we can make adjustments if we have to if we have to add because we're getting to that place where i'm like Oh my gosh, do we need to add some spaces to the Diesel Nation luncheon? And I want everybody there and accounted for and having a great friggin' time right before summit starts. So make sure you register early just so that Becky and I have great projections on to make this like the best luncheon ever, which I think it will be. That's number one. The second thing is this Wednesday. I need everyone to, to hear me out because this is like I'm springing this on you and you didn't know this was coming, but it's coming and I can't do anything about it. Our call with Jericho McMatthews is this week on Wednesday. Wednesday at 8.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, okay? We'll be sharing the link to that call tomorrow. I didn't wanna confuse with this call and that call. So tomorrow morning, um, we'll be sharing the link for our Morning Meltdown 100 prep call with Jericho McMatthews. Please note that it is a group call. It's gonna be a call with us and a few other organizations. However, I am the one that's going to be hosting the call. So you're gonna see a whole lot of people that you're like, I have no idea, no idea who that is. It's because we, we're uh, joining forces so that Jericho doesn't have to do 8 million team calls. We're gonna do them in clusters. So ours is on Wednesday, 8.20 p.m. and I'll be sharing that link tomorrow, okay? Thumbs up. Very important that you guys share that link with your teams and of course, as we start moving into morning meltdown mode, which if you saw my Instagram post right now, I'm already getting into meltdown mode. I'm doing a meltdown summer challenge, just starting to use the lingo so that when we start actually talking about morning meltdown, our customers kind of know where I'm headed. Um, so feel free to use um, those strategies. But we're going to have a launch plan like we always do for these programs where not only are we going to have Jericho's call, but Becky and I and some of the leaders on our team will host and Maddie's in the test group. So we're going to lean on Maddie to help us with the preparation for this group. And so we'll host a team call dedicated for coaches and then we'll host a team call dedicated for customers where our prospects can come on to learn about morning meltdown. But we've got time, right? The program doesn't launch until July 29th to uh, early VIP access. So we do have some time to get there. Then this month is the mega sale on the challenge packs. All challenge packs under $150 are $20 off, right? You guys, this is huge. This is such a momentous moment for you guys to reach back into all those follow-ups. 
everyone since even last year, if you guys were coaches last year, and just start hammering away at those follow-ups to get people connected now and getting ready for morning meltdown. So Summer Strong Challenge, $20 off all of those challenge packs that are under $150. Um, and then a few more things. Fixate 2 Standalone Cookbook is now available. So if you have someone that purchased, let's say, the um, Beach Body on Demand Challenge Pack, didn't get ultimate portion fix per se, they can actually upgrade now their challenge pack to add the Fixate 2 cookbook, or you can do that for them in ShareCart, okay? So that's big. And then we have with 2B Mindset, I think this is one that our team should pay attention to because we have a nice split. We're not like all ultimate portion fix or all to be mindset. I think we have a nice balance of coaches that lean on both of those nutrition programs. Well, with the to be mindset challenge packs this month, you're going to get a 30 day meal plan, a brand new 30 day meal plan with a to be mindset and 16 new recipes. That's a great value added for anyone that has been thinking about to be mindset and the challenge packs on sale. So think about all the customers that you've talked to about To Be Mindset, start digging back in, start talking about that on your Instagram stories and raise your hand or use the chat. If you have hit Success Club now for five months in a row, raise your hand, raise your hand from January to May. So this month, this month, if we hit Success Club, we get the backpack, yay! The awesome Beachbody backpack is this month. So make sure you lock it in. And of course, we have a luggage crew. Where are my luggage crew at that are going to score that luggage in December? Yeah. So just keep going, keep helping people. But stay tuned because at the end of the call, I really want to, I'm going to, Becky and I were talking at dinner. We're going to start a, a new like focus for the team that's going to incorporate much more than the challenge pack um, to make us more well-rounded and more productive coaches and help more people. So stay tuned to the end of the call because I'm going to announce a team challenge that we're going to host in the month of June that I think is going to be a lot of fun um, that will get you guys uh, really focused on just helping people and not so focused on points or challenge packs or HDs. Just, just go out and help people, and that is going to impact everything. It will impact your paychecks. It will impact even recruiting into the future because let me tell you, I've had so many – customers that you know have not been able to afford a challenge pack or not been able to get a challenge pack when they first reached out to me or I reached out to them and because I helped them anyway have come back and signed up as coaches right so that's the focus that we want to take going forward and we want to be more well-rounded more versed in our product line so that we can help as many people as, po uh, as possible. So if, uh, just a question before I turn it over. If you're a new coach, so the, the, the month that you sign up, you're a new coach starts your month one. And so if you look at the FAQs, um, your month one will start with, I think it's a t-shirt, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, right? If you hit success up in your first month, it's a t-shirt. Then if you hit in month two and month three, in month three, you get Beach Bodyopoly, right? And then month, five and then month six you get the the backpack so it's a progression and it starts when you start right this year hitting success club so it other it applies but if you were a coach in january and you hit in january january through now in june you get the backpack so i hope that clarifies that for you andrea all right you guys let's get to the heart of this call um hannah reached out to me uh i think two weeks ago and i knew exactly who she was as soon as she sent the message i'm like oh that's the amazing transformation um, she is a coach. She's going to tell her story. I don't, I don't want to take the words out of her mouth, but if you have seen her transformation, you know that this woman has put in the work that she has stayed committed and she is just absolutely inspiring. She is a finalist. And this is very, very important for everybody to, to understand. She's a finalist in the beach body challenge. So if you've been to summit, you know what an incredible moment that is at Summit. It basically is what we do and why we do it, right? To help people profoundly change their lives and to see these men and women up there that have lost so much and have uh, so much weight, but have lost so much and gained so much, share their stories, 
and then can be rewarded with money. Like if, you, if you're a finalist, you, I think automatically she can cover that, but um, win $25,000. And then if you win, you, I mean, it's just a lot of money and it's incredible. And so today Hannah's going to be sharing her story, but she's also going to be asking for our votes because we are the ones that vote for the Beachbody final winners. And so at the end of this call, if you find that, and I think you will find that she's worthy of your vote, then, you know, every day you log into your back office, you can just click, go click into Beachbody challenge and just vote once a day, once a day, just vote until they close the voting to make sure that the, you know, the right people win that money and that that person then becomes a catalyst for the message of what we do, which is to help people live healthy, fulfilling lives and really change um, the trajectory of their future. So anyway, without further ado, I'm gonna turn it over to Miss Hannah Day. She's lost 117 pounds, you guys, it's crazy. Wait, I'm gonna unmute you, Hannah. There you go, you're unmuted now. Hi, thank you so much. I have to just say, oh my gosh, I'm so honored to be able to be talking to your team. I have been following you for a long time, pretty much since the beginning of my journey. So you've been a huge inspiration to me. So thank you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start my story from back when I started first gaining my weight. It was back in 2009. Um, I was having all these really weird health issues. So um, I wrote them down because I've actually forgotten some because it's I haven't had them in a while, but it was extreme fatigue, joint pain, heart palpitations, extreme weight gain, foggy brain. I was having hair loss, gut issues. I had severe acne, high resting heart rate, and high blood pressure. And I started going to doctor after doctor. They were running so many tests on me. Nobody could give me answers to why I was having all these health issues. And as the years were going on, I was going and seeing specialists, cardiologists, this specialist, this specialist, and again, more testing, more testing, and nobody could figure me out. And um, I was in that process, just gaining more weight, more weight. And um, I got to a really low and dark place in 2015. I was pretty much at my highest weight, but honestly, like my health issues, I was more like just sad about not being healthy. Um, because I, it was a struggle to just get my kids fed and off to school. And when you're a mom, if you can't do that, that's like, you feel like such a failure and it just like broke my heart. And I went into a huge depression to the point I didn't even want to live anymore. So, I mean, it's hard to talk about, but it's where I was in that point. And each year I would just search and search for answers. And I literally thought I was going to die. I would tell my husband what I wanted at my funeral or, you know, try to get things together for my kids. And it was just so horrible to live that way. I lost completely who I was. I became a shell of a person. I wasn't living life. I spent most days in my bed because I could barely get up. I, I was just, I had so much pain and, um, you know, they diagnosed me with fibromyalgia. I was on antidepressants, um, and nothing really worked. And so in 2016, the end of 2016, I could just feel my body. Like, you know, when your body is like something's wrong and I went back to the doctor and this time my liver enzymes were very, very high and I knew I had to figure out what was wrong with me. January of 2017, I Googled my symptoms like I had done all the other times. And this time something came up that just shook me and it was called breast implant illness. And I had never heard of anything like that. I looked at the website, healingbreastimplantillness.com and everything I had been going through, tons and tons of women were saying that they were having the same issues. And I was like, oh my goodness, in 2009, I did get breast implants. So I joined a Facebook group where other thousands of women were in there and they were saying the same thing, that they were experiencing these same symptoms, some more, some less, um, some, you know, mine started two months after I got mine, some five years after they had gotten them, some even 10 years after they had gotten them. So I decided to get my breast implants removed by um, a plastic surgeon in Chicago in February of 2017. And when I woke up from my surgery, I had no more heart palpitations. They were completely gone. And my heart palpitations were every other beat. 
and like the cardiologist and I was in and out of the hospital for my heart and that was gone, gone. So then in the next two weeks, all my other symptoms and health issues started going away. So I was, you know, health wise back to who I was before, I was just left with all the weight I had gained. So I let my body heal for almost a year. And then in January of 2007, or I'm sorry, 2018, I was looking for a way to lose this weight. You know, this was the last thing left that I had been dealing with all these years. And I wanted something that was a lifestyle change for me and something healthy where I could get my health back like 100% because now I know like even if something's FDA approved, like it may not be safe. Um, and so I really wanted to find something that I could make a lifestyle change. And I didn't want a quick fix. I didn't want something where I could lose the weight right away, but it wasn't sustainable after I lost the weight or it wasn't healthy to do. And so my friend told me that about Beachbody and that she had lost, I believe it was 45 pounds in like five months. She sat me down on her couch and she said, this is what I, I have all my workouts on my TV. I have these portion containers. I portion them out and I thought, okay, well, it's simplified for me. Like I don't like hard things. And at like that point I was addicted to fast food in those years of being so sick and so depressed. I turned to food for my joy. My next meal was my joy. Cause in that moment of eating, um, all my health issues, all of that didn't matter because I was eating. And so I had to switch my mind into food is fuel and my workouts can be where I go for my emotions or stress and things like that. So I thought this program could really work for me. And so I got my challenge pack and I opened it up. I went into the containers and I just loved how it showed me, okay, vegetables can go in the green container and this is how many you can have. And these are the kind of veggies you can have and, and the protein and carbs. And I didn't, feel restricted. Of course, I cut out the cake and the brownies that I would eat every single night <laughs> and the French fries and all that. But in the first six weeks were hard. It was hard. I wanted sugar and I wanted those carbs, like big, big carbs, but I just stuck with it. And I thought, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. And eventually after the six weeks, I started craving healthy foods and I wanted the healthy foods. And so the portion fix just was key, like key for me. And I also did Shakeology as well. And I really feel um, even now the benefits of the Shakeology, um, all the vitamins, minerals, superfoods, all that. And so um, I started with 21 Day Fix and I did seven rounds, but I modified when I first started. I mean, I was so overweight. I was 237 pounds. I was a size 22 and I was not active. Like, remember I spent most of my years, um, previously in my bed. So I really didn't have any kind of physical activity. I mean, I even tried to go to a amusement park with my kids previously. And, um, and I cried on almost towards the end because I was in so much pain from walking. And actually I couldn't fit into an amusement park, park ride. I had to get out and couldn't ride with my daughter. So that was like super sad. And, and, and before I started Beachbody, I couldn't physically do things with my kids, like go sledding and stuff like that. I'd have to sit in my car. So that just like broke my heart too. So I started doing 21 day fix, modified everything. Cat was my girl. I love cat. And, um, I modified a jumping jack. I couldn't do a squat. I had zero leg strength. So I had to get up, you know, hold onto my couch to get up. And I just kept going and going and going and I would get better. I would get stronger. And with each round I would modify less. And so within 11 months, I lost 117 pounds and I went from a size 22 to a size two. And the best part of it is I am living life again. Like I just bought season tickets to a water park and the amusement park that I cried when I left because I was in so much pain and my kids and I just went and I was able to keep up with them. And I went from, we got there really early and we left really late. So now I'm living life, I'm healthy 
And also my kids are healthy because when I was eating all of that bad food, fast food, I had a lot of processed food at home, snacks and all that. My kids were eating that as well because that's what I was bringing home to them. And now they are eating healthy. They tend to, they went, even when they're not with me, they grab the healthy snacks when they're with my mom and they're out to eat, they will get the broccoli on the side and stuff. So that just like makes my heart so happy that I can pass down the tools that I have learned through Beachbody and apply that to my kids' lives. And so now I am just living life. I am reconnecting with my friends that, you know, I withdrew drew from. I am going and doing things and I just feel so, so amazing. And I decided to share my results with the Beachbody Challenge. I actually didn't even know about the Beachbody Challenge till later on. And um, I submitted my results like literally two days before the deadline in December. And right away they emailed me and, um, you know, wanted me to sign a bunch of stuff and wanted to use pictures. And of course, because um, anything I can do to help inspire other people, because I was so in such a low place and I know how that is. And I know so many other people deal with depression and things like that. And it may not be the situation I was in, but you know, whether it's their weight gain or um, any kind of situation they're in, just know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Like you can get through it. When I was on my bathroom floor in 2015, not wanting to live and crying, I could never see my life the way it is. But I made one change and one change not only changed my life, but it changed my family's lives. And, um, and now anybody I can get my story out to, I just hope that it inspires them that they can do the same. Um, you just stick with it and do it and you will get there. So that is my story. Amazing. So how many months was it? 11, you said? You lost yeah. Yeah, 117 pounds. I think I hit like 100 pounds, I want to say like nine months, but then those last 17, <laughs> those were the hardest pounds to get off. And um, I hit that in December. And, and then this whole year, I have been focusing on toning and gaining muscle and becoming strong. Like I have never been strong before. And now gaining muscle and just being like, I can do this it feels amazing. I love being strong. Like the weight loss was awesome, but being strong and building and seeing your body and your results is just amazing. And I think when you get to that point where you are right now, now, you, now this is it. This is your life. This is your lifestyle. Yeah. Like yep. There's no, it's not anymore a matter of going back there. It's just, no, this is who I am now. Right. Right. And people say that like, well, how, how, because I've been maintaining my weight and then also improving with, with gaining muscle and things. And people are like, well, how are you still doing it? I'm like, it was a lifestyle change. Like it wasn't a quick fix. And then, okay, I'm done. And I'm going to go backwards. Like, no, I worked so hard. I'm not going to go backwards. I'm only going to go forwards. Like Autumn says, there's no finish line. Like you keep going. You can always better your health. You can always better your life and your lifestyle. So yeah, it's a lifestyle for me. And this is just how I eat now and how my kids eat my family. And I love working out and, and doing the workouts. Amazing. I want to take you back to, yeah. uh, the first conversation with your coach. Mm -hmm. How did that happen? And did she approach you? Did you approach her? Was she sharing on social media? Take us back to that moment. Cause I want to kind of dive into, um, you know, did she do something special or was it just within you so that you can help us help people better? I think that if we can all, and this goes for the network, this goes for our team, really help more people have change. And, you know, some people have a lot of weight to lose. Some people don't have a lot of weight to lose, but just stay in the lifestyle. I think that this call will just exponentially like improve our businesses because you've already instilled the belief in us. I mean, raise your hand if you're like, Beachbody is the best thing ever right now, right? So now it's how do we take that forward and help people better? Because I, it is a frustrating thing. Listen, I'm talking to Becky before this call. I've had, and I, I don't want to get emotional, but I've had people that have had the hundred pound, um, you know, needing to lose a hundred pounds or more that they just don't do it. And, and I feel like a failure. I know then they feel like a failure. So 
take us back. Take us back to your conversations with your coach. And what were those things that made a difference in your journey? So my coach, you know, I just kept saying, I want to lose weight. I want to lose the weight. And that is like, especially when you're really overweight, you, you say that I want to lose weight. Oh, I'll try a diet on Monday or something because, but then you don't do it because it seems impossible. Like I had a mindset of, Oh, I want to lose a hundred pounds, but that seems so out of reach at that point. And, um, you know, my friend just sat me down and was like, Hey, you know, this really worked for me. And so when she showed me a plan, then I was like, okay, well that makes sense. And I think I can do that. It was more of a plan of having something in place instead of just being like, okay, well this is beach body and we have the portions and this and this. She, she really took time, even though she didn't know if I was going to say, okay, yes, I want to do beach body. She really took the time and said, look, these are the containers I use. This is what I put in them. And then these are the workouts I, I do. And I don't know, it just, made sense and just seemed like I could follow that. So that really helped me. And then, um, I noticed for myself, cause she didn't post on social media. She's not a very, um, active coach, but for myself, I noticed that when I'm posting my videos every single day of my workouts and my stories, that that's when people are like, okay, so I, I watch your videos every single day. I've been watching them for almost a year and that helped me so, so much because I'm not nat naturally motivated. So when I would be sitting on my couch and I did, and I'm in the process of losing weight and I would think, man, I don't want to work out today, but then I would watch you and uh, several other coaches and I'd be like, okay, I can do it. And that's what motivated me was watching other coaches. So definitely posting in your stories, your workouts, being super consistent with that. And then also posting your food and showing like, this food isn't bad. This food is good. Like you can have yummy food and look, this fits into my portion fix nutrition plan. And so that helped me too. When she showed me the food she was eating, I was like, I guess I can give up my burgers and fries for that because <laughs> I'm thinking baked chicken and broccoli and I don't do that. Like I need seasoning and, and some yummy sauce on there. Um, and that can be done with the portion fix. And then also Shakeology. Um, she showed me the shake and she had me try the shake. And so all those little things, just her spending time with me and showing me those things, even though I wasn't like, okay, I want to do this. I was just like, learning and, and processing it all, she still really took the time to show me all this stuff. And then um, I was able to apply that to my life. Awesome. Do you, do you did a lot in your journey and maybe not so much now, because I'm sure now because you're, well, and Maddie has a question about when you signed up, but just to take you back mindset wise, did you do personal development for your fitness journey? Uh, were you in a challenge group uh, or was it just you grinding every single day? Yes, I was in a challenge group and that helped a lot. That was very, very um, inspiring to me as well because, you know, each lady is posting their own journey and we're, we all start somewhere. So, you know, I wasn't ashamed because then the first time I was told to post a sweaty, sweaty selfie, I'm like, I don't take selfies. <laughs> like I hide from the camera. Like I don't want to do that. But then I would see them doing it. I'm like, okay, I feel safe in this group. I feel like I can post my, my journey through this group. And I had support and love from this community. And so, yeah, I did, um, post my selfie and my food. And then I was getting other ideas from other challengers in the group and they were getting, um, ideas from me too. And like I had said before, I had a big goal of a hundred pounds, but I would give myself little doable goals, like 20 pounds here, 20 pounds here. When I got under 200 pounds for my birth, it was on my birthday and I was so excited. And I would celebrate each one, like the biggest victory as if I lost a hundred pounds. So that was something too, is not, not looking oh, I need, I need to lose a um, hundred pounds. I would do in little steps. And that same thing I do with my business too. Like I don't look and say, oh, I mean, I want to be a big, uh, like, 50, I don't know, 10 star diamond, but you do little bitty steps. So that's something with everybody's business too, is just giving yourself little goals like that. Amazing. So many nuggets. Have you guys found this helpful in like peeking into the mindset of someone that 
has been so successful in weight loss. For me, it's been so extremely helpful. So Maddie had a question. Did you sign up as a coach from the first day or did you sign up later on? No. So I was just a challenger. And even while I was losing the weight, um, you know, people would be like, you should be a coach. You should be and I'm like, no, that's okay. Um, and then even when I did the beach body challenge, I still wasn't a coach and wow. I found out I was a finalist in February and still wasn't a coach. And I actually just became a coach in, on March 4th. And it was only because, and I don't know why I always think like, why did I wait so long? And I think it was just because I had like a, a preconceived notion of what coaching was. I thought I had to be like a fitness guru and a nutritionalist. And I just didn't know, um, what it all entailed. And so when Beachbody shared my results on their Instagram and Facebook, I had so many people messaging me and I was like, well, I can send you to a coach. And they're like, no, I want you to be my coach. And that's when I was like, okay, <laughs> okay, I'll do it. And oh my goodness. I mean, it just exploded. And I, I remember telling the producer of the Beachbody challenge, cause I was telling him like, I, I think I'm going to be a coach, but I, I filled out my, my, um, like when you sign up for the beach body challenge, you have to put if you're a coach or not. And I was like, but I, I wasn't a coach. Is that gonna like, do I need to tell you? And he's like, no, oh my goodness. I can't believe you aren't. We were saying like, how are you not a coach yet? I'm like, okay, well I I'm going to do it. And so I told him, I'm only doing this to help people. Like, I don't even know what the compensation plan is. <laughs> I just want to help people because I, I did this and I wish I would have been a coach sooner so that I could have brought them on my journey. I was actually like almost afraid to tell people I was losing weight and stuff like that. And I had gained so much weight and I just wish I didn't do that. I wish I would have been like, had these people on the journey with me because it, it is so impactful. Um, so if you're on your journey, definitely share, you know, don't be sh uh, scared or shy to share it because that's one thing I wish I would have done. So yeah, I've actually just been a coach since, um, March 4th. That is so funny. I'm here thinking you've been a coach for like months and months and months. Well, look, Hey, it just goes to show that, um, everybody has their story. Everybody has a time and the universe is going to tell you when your time is. And maybe it was the catalyst of Beachbody sharing your stories. I know I sh I've shared your transformation picks a bunch. I'm like, that's so good. You definitely <laughs> can. And anybody can share my story. Anybody, if you want to post it, um, definitely, you know, it shows people that it is possible. So Definitely everybody people ask me and I'm like you can share my story. It's totally fine You can put it on there when you're wanting um, like you have a new group or something like absolutely like I hope it helps People see that they can do this too. Yeah, I agree and you know um, you, you you talk about like, you know not signing up um, before and that whole deal but at the at the same time this is your path and and you know, the, uh, in simplistic terms, I was trying to find the word in simplistic terms. If, if there was a new coach on this call or even a coach that has been a coach for a long time, what's that one theme that you hear in Hannah's story? It's results matter, right? And it doesn't have to be 117 pounds. I think a lot of people get wrapped up in that. Number one, it's the story. It's the story. I mean, just Hannah has not been a coach for a very long time. And do you see the passion in the way she shares her story, how great she shares her story, how impactful she shares her story. She has a story. She has results. You have to learn how to uh, tie the emotion of the journey into your results. And that's, what's going to relate to people. And that's why Hannah's business has taken off in a very short period of time, because she got the results. She learned how to share the story. She tied the emotion to the story. Boom. She has a business. So right now, if you're challenged in your business, because we all go through challenges, think, am I getting results or am I coasting with my results? You know, and if you have to double down and get back and, and following a nutrition plan and drinking that shake and, and all that stuff, then that's what you have to do because that's what grows a business. So anyway, Hannah, you are fantastic. Again, I'm going to end with, well, I'm not going to end the call because I want you guys to stay on for just a second, but there is a vote and, and Hannah, the vote has started already, correct? Yes. And it started today and it's, you can vote every day for a guy and girl. And 
I hope you guys vote for me for the ladies. Um, and actually they changed it this year. It used to be um, like your Beachbody email, but now it's anybody who has a Facebook account. So you can go to beachbodychallenge.com and then um, vote and then it will take you to um, like Facebook and you just sign in and then you can vote every single day for one guy and uh, one female, so. Awesome. So why don't we all, as soon as we get off the call, as soon as we get off the call, all go and do that and vote for Hannah today and then do it every single day so that when, on Saturday night at Summit, when they announce the Beachbody Challenge winners, we can all stand up and cheer for Hannah winning the Beachbody Challenge. Are you guys with me? Let's do that, all right. Hannah, you can stay on and enjoy the rest of our call, absolutely, but we appreciate you taking the time and reaching out so that we can get inspired because sometimes you just need to get back to basics and hear a story of someone changing their life with this, kind of getting out of business mode a little bit and just say, my God, just go back to her story where she said her coach wasn't that engaged in the business, but she was brave enough to start a conversation. And that's all really that this is, is be brave enough to start conversations, be brave enough to talk to people, be brave enough to share your story and you can profoundly change someone's life like Hannah's has. I mean, I think that I, that's it. Like we can just drop it right there, end of conversation and go on and help some people. But we do have a, a few more things to share. Um, one thing I wanted to, I wanted to circle back to May, right? Because May was uh, a month where some of us missed some goals, some of us hit some goals, some of us um, were overwhelmed with life, which happens all the time, right? It just, it is what it is. So I want to talk about surviving missed goals because we've all been there where you've set a goal, right? You've set a goal to be Emerald or Diamond or Hit Success Club or advance in a Star Diamond rank and it doesn't happen. And so do you allow that to define the rest of your potential? Do you let that define the rest of your business and the rest of the people that you can impact if you just keep going. So I want to just talk about the mindset of someone that keeps going despite some missed goals. First, I want to tell you that it's okay. <laughs> I think so. we put so much pressure on ourselves to accomplish um, goals and to do things within a time frame. And yes, I'm a big believer and you have to set a deadline for goals. Because if not, you're kind of just floundering and you're not really doing much and you don't have any direction. But if you do that and you miss, I want you to give yourself grace. Because the worst thing that can happen is you stopping. What a shame would it be if you missed Success Club last month or you missed your goal of achieving diamond or you missed that star diamond rank or that income goal that you had for yourself and you threw in the towel. Think about all the, the ripple effect that you would just be cutting off if you said, I'm not going to continue. So I want you guys to give yourself grace and don't be hard on yourself. I do want you to reflect though. And I think that's the biggest thing that we all should do. And this goes for your fitness journey. This goes for your business. You want to reflect and you want to say, what can I improve on so that I can learn from this situation and make sure that I'm better prepared the next time I do set this goal or the month of June to hit success club, that I'm not repeating what happened the month prior or the, the quarter prior, that I'm actually taking steps to improve so that I'm giving myself a better chance to achieve your goals. So if your goal is success club, and of course I want you guys to, 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 to help as many people, not just hit success club six or help three people or help five, but set a bigger goal for yourself so that your work is bigger, right? So that you have, you give yourself that time to accomplish these bigger goals. You don't want to wait till the end of the month that you, you correct the missteps, right? You correct them instead of repeat them. And I want you to understand that you are not alone. So in the chat, everybody, have you missed a goal? Raise your hand if you have missed a goal. Put it in the chat if you want to share what goals you've missed. I have missed more goals than I could freaking, I've missed more goals than I've hit goals. And I'm a habitual goal hitter in this business. You guys know that. I love hitting goals. Like that's my job. I hit goals in this business, but I have hit or I've missed more goals than I have hit. 
But in order to hit some goals, you're going to have to get comfortable with missing some too. Absolutely get really comfortable with missing some goals. And that's freaking okay. And you are not alone. Remember what I said, the worst thing that can possibly happen when you miss a goal is for you to stop because then you'll never understand what your potential is and you'll never help the people you were meant to help if you stop. And then let others support you. Reach out to your coach, reach out to your team and say, God, you know, this didn't happen last month, but let's team up and let's make sure that this doesn't happen again. How can we improve? How, you know, what is it that you guys that hit success hub or that you helped the reward, you advanced the diamond or you, what did you do? What did you help me? Right? So don't stay quiet. Don't go into your shell. Don't hide. Nobody is keeping score. And I think a lot of people think that, that we're looking and we're like, Becky, how many points do you have? And Danielle, how many points do you have? And then we're like scoring you on, on that. No, nobody's keeping score. What we do is model the behaviors of successful coaches, right? So we model the behavior of coaches that increase their income, increase their rank in the hopes that you follow suit. But I'm not sitting here keeping score on you or nobody's keeping score. What we're doing is trying to support each other so that we all improve. Remember, all of us have different definitions of success, right? Some of you just want to be part of the community. And that's success to you. Some of you want to lose 117 pounds like Hannah. And that's success to you. Some of you want to earn $100 a week. And that's success. Some of you want to earn six figures. And that's success too. Remember, none of us are keeping score. None of us are judging you. We only want the best. So sure, we're going to push, right? And that's, that's, that's a given. Yes, we're going to keep pushing you. We're going to keep showing. We're going to keep incentivizing. We're going to keep training. We're going to keep learning. We're going to keep doing things. But you need to pick yourself back up. You need to dust yourself off. And we need to keep going together. If you remember at the beginning of the year, Becky and I announced that our theme for this year was rise up, right? Together we rise. And that's what we need to do. So if you feel down right now, if you feel defeated right now, know you're not alone, but let's pick each other up and let's keep moving forward because a missed month of success club or a missed rank of diamond or any of that does not define, define your value in our organization. It absolutely not. The fact that you are here and that you are living your best life and that you are being healthy and that you're drinking shake and you're being an example to your children at home that's the value that you bring to the table, not any number or any rank or anything like that. Yes? Are you guys with me on that? All right, so either we, we let's move together. Let's lock arms, let's move together forward, let's do this. If you missed a goal, reframe it, figure it out, let's keep pushing forward because there's a whole lot of year in front of us and there's a whole lot of years of this beach body business that we're going to be in together so let's just let's just do it let's do it together all right this is what i want to do and becky and i want to do this and i think it's going to be fun i'm going to share my screen <laughs> sorry one second share screen this is what we're going to do in the month of june it's called the diesel nation share challenge Okay. Every time you help someone, we're going to ring the bell. I'm going to stop the share so I can see you because it's a little awkward like this, but diesel nation share challenge. Okay. This is what it is. I'm done with counting success club points, right? Like not done because I love challenge packs and we're on, we're all on sale this month, but I'm done with coaches feeling like they're not good enough because they didn't sell a challenge pack. I'm done with that. I'm done with someone selling a bag of Shakeology to someone that's not on HD and them feeling like a failure because it's not HD. I'm done with that because you've helped someone. And the importance of what we do is helping everybody, not just the person that can afford the challenge pack. And are you with me? Are you with me? So this is what we're gonna do. That image is gonna go up in Diesel Nation Rising. Now leaders, you can do this in your own team pages, but know that Becky and I are gonna keep, be keeping track only in Diesel Nation Rising because that's our big team page. Now I know if a lot of coaches aren't in there, you might wanna get in um, to participate in this. 
whenever you help someone from June 1st, right? So some of you have already helped someone June 1st to the end of June, midnight, cut off. That's it. Every single time you help someone, whether it's with a challenge pack or a BLD sub subscription or an energized or a three day refresh or any product in our product line, you're going to ring the bell. You're going to go into the Diesel Nation Rising page. You're going to write, I helped, let's say her name is Lisa. I helped Lisa with a BLD subscription or three day refresh or fixate to cookbook. I don't care. We don't care what it is that you've helped this person with. You're going to ring the bell every single time you do it. At the end of the month, we're going to have two categories. We're going to have a Coach Emerald Ruby category, and we're gonna have a Diamond Star Diamond category. The two people in those categories with the most, most helps are going to get one-on-one -on -one mentorship calls. Becky, I'm volunteering you. Monica, I may be volunteering you. Amy, I might be volunteering you. I might be volunteering some other leaders in the network to do this, but you're gonna get a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call. And you're gonna be in the in the in a raffle to win a two hundred and fifty dollar either Amazon gift card or carbon thirty eight well, you know workout clothes whatever it is I don't care what gift card you want you get to pick whatever gift card you want two hundred and fifty dollars you're gonna be put in a raffle but you're gonna get at the very least the one on one mentorship call are you with me are you excited about that yeah I'm I'm totally volunteering people but we're still doing this. So help everyone that you freaking can, you guys. Here's the thing. It's not about the challenge pack. Yes? It's not about the challenge pack only. It's about the depth of our product line that helps people. It, you know, the challenge pack has the, the, like the whole package, right? It's the easy thing. It's like, here, here's what you need to do. But... There are so many different things. And Lily Rubio today brought up a great point in our Diesel Nation walk. She said, you know, I was talking, I was in a great conversation with someone and she decided to go and get a personal trainer. What would most people do in that situation? Literally, what would most people do in that situation? I know I've done it. I, I, I would say something like, well, I'll reach out in a month and check on you, right? Like, don't we do that? Or are we just like, well, good luck. You know, I hope that works out for you. Bye. Guess what Lily did? She sold her Energize. She sold her Energize, right? She was bold enough to say, she was bold enough to say, but you're going to want this unicorn juice for your workouts. We need to take this challenge and learn how to share the rest of our product line. We need to get good at helping people with a three-day refresh, with bod subscriptions, not being afraid that we're not getting points off of it but that we're helping someone because that person who gets results may turn around and become a rock star coach on your team. I know because it's happened to me, right? So I want everyone to have a deep business where you're not just counting points, that you're growing your income through volume. And all of these products carry with it volume that creates income, all right? So let's take June as like the guinea pig month. Let's take this month and say, if I stretch myself this month and we have the sale, which is gonna help, absolutely. But what if I stretch myself and I help other people, other kinds of people, what can I do to my income? So I want you guys to set goals this month and I'm gonna post this up in, in Diesel Nation Rising. I want you to set income goals. I want you to set volume goals. I want you to set the, the amount of people you want to help, not the amount of points. I want you to post, these are the number of people I want to help, regardless of, of what that looks like, right? And let's see how your business can change if we take a more expansive view of our product line and not become so hyper-focused solely on challenge packs, if we look at it from a different perspective. I think you'll naturally hit success club. I honestly think that. I think that you'll naturally hit success club if you start with the challenge pack and then kind of, if you have to back off of it, you can. But don't start here, start here and then help, you know, come down to where your customer's needs are. I think you will learn a lot in that process. Okay, are you in? Are we in? 
Are you guys excited? I'm super excited. I can't wait to go help people and sell some Energize and three-day refreshes. All right, you guys, I'll post this recording. I'm going to post the image. Let's start ringing the bell as soon as tonight. Um, remember, and I'll post the instructions, so it'll be in the post on what you have to do to earn your, um, I guess, you can say raffle ticket. Um, so we'll do that. And then lastly, Hannah, thank you so much for being on our call. Um, you have blessed us tonight with your story. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the business also on the other side. Um, you guys, let's all vote for Hannah right now. Let's make her win this Beachbody Challenge. You guys have a great night and let's ring, 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 ring that bell. Bye, you guys.